We have a question from Pete. You know, it's interesting. Uh, we've had this question before, Pete, so we might have to say this is a, a repeat. <laughs> How would you train the bench press if you only had access to it once per week? My situation. Pete, that, there's nothing. That's fine. There's nothing wrong with benching once a week. In fact, of all the lifts, I think the deadlift and the bench press, well, it's tough, but uh, I would... There's about a thousand options. I, if you do something like one lift a day where you're just benching once a week and the day you bench is the day you bench, I have no issue with you going in and, uh, you know, doing like a, um, one of those more, they're, they're a lot sexier than the workouts I do, but it's, it's the idea where you, you, you go in, you know, you do your warm ups. You add weight, you add weight, you add weight, you know, and as you're adding weight, it's a ramp, but I know it's not the, the best way to lift weights, but you try to go and see, you know, get a sense of how strong you are today. And then you do the back offsets for your workout. So you peak up to kind of sort of kind of test your weekly max. Um, I wouldn't want you to max seriously, max, max, max every week, but get a sense to see how the load's going drop down and get your workout in. and that'd be five sets of five or three sets of three so you have two workouts in one so you have the ramp up to that tested uh um daily max from there you make a decision to do five sets of five or three sets of three and in this case i would stick with a single weight uh on those because you've already done this already uh, so you're already ramping it naturally three sets of eight is also a good workout um well, there's that's not a, there's a um, you could do something as simple as this uh, week one three sets of five week two three sets of five week one week two five sets of three so a little bit heavier but the reps uh, you know be a little bit easier to get to them uh, week three have a really high volume day that would be the five sets of five striving maybe even to to find a place. Uh, but uh, maybe the week two loads are close to the week two loads. And then on week four might be a good day to go, go try for a heavy double, do a set of five. So you would go to that early max in the workout and then come back and do a set of five, a set of three, and then test the double. So you'd have two, two ascensions. And then after that, walk away. Um, since you're just doing it once a week, I would suggest one other day to do some uh, perfect push-ups. That's where you uh, you do a push-up as you come down. You hit your chest, put your hands off to the side in a T, bring them back, and do push up another one. You might only have to do that once a week, but twice would be okay too. And then strive one day to get as many as you can in a minute. And the other day, just pick a number like I'm going to do a total of 100 or 50 or I don't, know, I don't care what the number is. And then just, so if it takes you 10 sets of 10 to get there, five, five sets of 10, whatever, whatever number is, and just get yourself up to those numbers just to keep those, because there is a specific soreness you get in bench pressing. And the only way I've ever seen of getting around it, um, interesting, I had a massage last night and I haven't benched in years, but I'm still always hyper sore right in that little valley right there where it just seems to be where all the soreness seems to just all find its happy place i hope that helps pete uh let me know what you decide and get back to me if this works thank you